All right, it's a busy first day at GEC 2017 in Paris, France, and the day started with a press conference by Excel. Excel reported that its revenue and income for the last five years have been as strong as they've ever, as they've ever been and appears to be no end in sight. Uh, Excel also announced that its customers have backlogs of 12,000 units. This is in aerospace, which represents about nine years of work for the company. The second big event, uh, the big news of the day was from Crossbify. Crossbify announced a new protrusion system designed for high-speed manufacturing. And the hardware is going to, is being de designed and developed by Crossbify, and the chemistry and the resins are being developed by uh, three companies in cooperation with Crossbify, and those are Huntsman, Covestro, and Avonic. And this system, uh, according to Crossbify, is designed to produce protrusions at the rate of about one meter per hour, which represents a substantial increase in speed. Also at the show today demonstrating in the back of uh, Hall 5A was Boykin. Boykin was demonstrating its thermoplastic tape placement system. And the system there was placing uh, polypropylene tape reinforced with carbon fiber. This is designed primarily for aerospace use. And the, uh, the, the tape layups that you can see in this video will be compression molded and uh, produce plaques or laminates with a consolidation of less than 1% voids. The biggest news of the day came out of Solvay, which introduced a new material here at JEC called Solvalite 730. Solvalite 730 is a material that was designed and developed in cooperation with Rykold. And this is a what uh, Solvay calls a novel chemistry, meaning this is a, a, a resin-based uh, not on an existing material. This is not an epoxy, this is not a vinyl ester, this is a new chemistry. It's designed for automotive and it is a prepreg. And it is a prepreg that has an outlife of six months at room temperature, which is highly appealing to the automotive industry and that is what this resin is designed for. Um, applications are going to be uh, in compression molding initially. And Solvay will be offering the material in either a uni uni unidirectional uh, format or a 090 2x2 twill. And the, the final bit of news here is that this material is designed to cure in 60 seconds or less at 170 degrees C. At 150 degrees C, it cures in three minutes. So again, this is a uh, big news for the automotive industry and Solvay and Reichold are uh, very optimistic about this material's future. So it was a busy day, lots to see and do here at JEC, and we'll be back tomorrow with another report about what we found at uh, JEC 2017. Good day.